All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new video. It's beautiful out here today. I cleaned my skin with the Dr. Kassar skin cleaning solution before I came out here, and I'm going to do a little bit of sunbathing now. Um, taking advantage of when the sun's out here. It's been really kind of overcast lately, but uh, clean your skin with the Dr. Kassar skin cleaning solution, guys. It's remarkable. I'll put some links in the description box below if I remember to the recipes. I've actually created a modified recipe that's much cheaper to make. Um, because Dr. Kassar's skin cleaning solution does have quite a few ingredients in them, in it, and it can get rather rather expensive. It's got like living silica in it. I think a bottle of that's like 40 bucks. So again, I, I've made a modified version. Um, recipe is in the description box below that has, it just consists of baking soda, the alcohol, the magnesium, and a couple of other constituents. So it's really easy to make. It's very beneficial. You're gonna feel a lot better if you clean your skin with that solution, you guys. It's amazing how much different um, your skin feels. It'll, you'll be able to, your skin will breathe better if you come out and clean your skin before you do get some sun. You're gonna find that you get a lot more out of it. So there's protocols out there, you guys. I share a lot of them. Uh, health protocols that can really greatly benefit your health if you start doing them and stick to the program. It's all about adherence to what works, right? In the same way that many people stick to what doesn't work and it ruins their health, I mean, here in the United States, the heart disease, the cancers, the obesity, it's through the roof. It's because we're following a, proto, uh, a program that does not work. If you, on the opposite side of the coin, find out what works and stick to it, you will reap the rewards of doing so. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more tricky and difficult to stick to what works here in this unhealthy world because there's shit everywhere distracting us, right? But that's part of the hero's journey to stay on point. It's part of the hero's journey to develop willpower. It's part of the hero's journey to get back up regardless of what happens and to keep moving forward with your health. Keep putting the spirulina, the algaes into your system, the alpha brain, whatever works for you. The fish oil, I take fish oil daily. You know, uh, I'm constantly putting things in my system that are anti-inflammatory, things that can help my body deal with the entropy um, that comes from living in this world, the accelerated energetic loss, folks, from living in this world. Our atmosphere is filled full of megatons of barium, aluminum, strontium, mylar fibers, chaff, radioactive isotopes through the stratospheric aerosol injections, injections that have been sprayed under solar radiation management. Our atmosphere is polluted. We breathe this stuff in, the metals go into our system, into our lungs, into our bloodstream. These accumulative metals get stuck in our body, in our brain, and it dysfunctions the proper tune that our bodies put out um, because we are vibratory frequency generating machines that are supposed to be tuned into God through Kundalini, but the metals and all the crap and all the garbage in the water, all the garbage plastered around us in the form of propaganda, propaganda and mind control, it's taking us out of alignment with our true selves. Our genes are not expressing themselves the way God intended them to be expressed. And through the pro when our genes are expressing themselves properly, it's Kundalini, it's enlightenment. We are connected to the supernal light through Christ consciousness, rising up the spine into the brain, which connects us to Christ, which opens the door into the Pleroma, the realm of lights, the heaven spheres, which is the com complete accessing of the electromagnetic spectrum through Kundalini. So Kundalini and enlightenment is real health. Many people don't know this, but through enlightenment, through kundalini, immortality becomes possible. There are no limitations and everything again is possible. We are supposed to be upright walking demigods merged with God through Christ, Christ being the risen kundalini. So we are all in a fallen state here in this material realm, this matrix, this illusionary realm. And we are all broken to some extent and we are all wounded healers. We are all taking on damage from this new world order prison system that we are in. So we have to act like our own medics and remedy the wounds. We have to, again, alleviate the wounds. And the wounds are coming on a daily basis from simply living in this world where the environment is toxic. The air, the water, the propaganda, the bullshit, the Stockholm Syndrome that the masses harbor. Once you become conscious to all this and you realize that you're living in an electromagnetically... Uh, controlled prison system for your consciousness they want the kundalini to not rise 
it's going to cause a little bit of stress you guys once you start realizing what they've done to us once you start realizing how they've damaged our genetics our dna how they've fundamentally polluted not only our cells but all of the organelles within our cells the mitochondria the ribosomes etc once you see what's actually happening here you might get a little stressed out and that's why we have the magnesium protocols that's why we have the alpha brain protocols so that you can give your brain brain fertilizer so that your mind can work right so that your it just like you need to feed your head folks oh sacred serpent man i know you're in it for the money that's why you're promoting this alpha brain stuff bro that's why you're promoting these on it products i know you're only in it for the money <gasps> oh no you got me my secret's out i only promote products because i'm in it for the money oh no you caught me oh no my plan, my master plan to con and deceive my viewers has been discovered. How could I ever go on? It's amazing the things that people say without having a fucking firm foundation of my intentions. Ladies and gentlemen, I promote on it products. I am an affiliate because I believe in their products. I take them daily. I've taken these products daily for months and months and months and months. I've invested a lot of money in their products, not because I want to promote them, but because they help me operate and function better here in this matrix. Anything, whether it's on it or if it were dirt that allowed me to do it, I would promote it. Catch my drift. I find what works. I experiment with it. And when, it, when I find out it works, I promote it. You caught me. Oh my God. My secret plan to deceive my viewers with Onnit products has been discovered. Oh my God. I've been exposed. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the thing. The majority of what I promote with Onnit are free trials. These free trials allow you to experiment with $40 products for free. All you have to do is pay the $5 shipping. That way, if you do buy the product that's free, you just pay the shipping, again, $5 compared to a $40 product, that same product would be $40, just $37 to $40 if you were to buy it in the store. So I promote things, these, these trials, so that you can try something for $5 before you spend $35 to $40 on it. That way, if you try it and you don't like it, you're not out $40, but I'm in it for the money, right? Oh my goodness. No, I'm in it because I want to save you money. And I also want to give you a super deal so that you can try something for free and gauge whether or not it works for you. That way you're not out $40. So again, is it really about me making money or is it about me saving you money? Sure. There's a little bit of a commission for me getting you to buy these, their pay, get this, these free trials and pay for the shipping. I mean, my God, am I not allowed to make money promoting what I love? Get a fucking grip, people. And I'm not pointing my finger at all my subscribers, but there's some stupid people out there that make stupid comments without knowing what they're talking about. And it's just another example of the times that we're living in, the fact that we're living in this matrix. So get a water distiller, folks. And hell, if you think I'm, I'm in it for the money, don't buy the, don't get the free on it trial. Don't save uh, $35. Go to your store if you want to try it. Go to Whole Foods and give them the money. Give Amazon the money. Don't promote or don't aid me and give me a couple bucks because I'm in it for the money, right? People saying this while they buy products on Amazon and all these other garbage fucking websites. It blows my mind. But go to Sprouts Farmer's Market and pay the, the upright $40 if you don't want to get a free trial. Fuck. Get a water distiller. Get a water filter. Get the minerals into your system regardless of how you do it naturally or supplemental you can use shilajit resin you can use on its key minerals you guys which i have right here on its key minerals this is my favorite mineral supplement it's got calcium iodine magnesium moly denim and boron rice hull concentrate rice bran extract and some red marine algae can't get much better than this it's got four milligrams of boron it's going to turn your brain on it's going to help you recover from the brain damage that we've all taken from living in this polluted world anyways you guys clean your skin get some sun i'm going to wrap this one up but peace be with you all we are undoubtedly living in times of utmost uncertainty an overwhelmingly tangible sense of encroaching malice can be felt by millions even those not clairvoyantly inclined. These sensations of impending doom are the faint echoes of your suppressed survival instincts grinding into calibration as they attempt to sound the alarm within the landscape of your conscious mind. 
Do not ignore them. Let them flow through you. Connect with them. Learn from them. Doing so is a literal bridge to your higher self. Your body and your mind has evolved over innumerable years to equip you with the gift of intuitive foresight. Not to be cheesy and quote Star Wars, but there is certainly a disturbance in the force. Fasten your seatbelt, folks. The only way through this is to become unbreakable. This is certainly a test. I would like to finish this post by leaving you with a most potent quote by Thomas Paine. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered. Yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. What we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. It is dearness only that gives everything its value.